Hello, today I'm going to be making a video talking about Fallout. Which Fallout, you may be asking? Fallout 4. No, I'm just kidding. Not Fallout 4. Ha ha ha, I tricked you. Um, no, today I'm going to be talking about Fallout 3 versus Fallout New Vegas. I just fucking kicked my mic stand. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, should I edit that out? Nah, you know what? Okay, so we're going to be talking about Fallout 3 versus Fallout 4, okay? And, um, I said the wrong thing. You know, I feel like this is funny, how stupid I am, but at the same time, I feel kind of bad, because we're, like, almost a minute in, and I haven't even said anything. But at the same time, it's kind of fun to just <laughs> be really stupid, and I see I'm still going. Anyway, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, pew, 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 loud sound effects, cool explosions, uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to drag this out until it gets to a minute. Okay, now we actually can talk about this, all right? See, we had to make all the lame people leave first. Fall 3 versus Fall Out New Vegas. Um, what? Uh, I'm just going to say which one I like better. It's Fall Out New Vegas. Sorry, that's the end of the video. Um, we're going to have a bunch of blank space at the end so people think it's like an actual video and that it keeps going on for a while, but it's not actually, okay? It's just going to have a lot of blank space, so I, I trick people, you know? So, yeah, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Okay, I, I tricked you. See, we had to make the other people leave. No, no, no. Now we're actually going to talk about it. So, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 3 obviously came out first. Really, really got me in to, um, I don't know, just the RPG genre in general, I guess. I'm trying to think of what other RPGs I'd played that I actually really, really liked. Like, I played... Bioware RPGs and those things were great, but I couldn't sit through them long enough to go ahead and like just want to do the game exactly how I want to do it. Like I didn't have this defined path of how I wanted to go about these games. Uh, this is just talking about Fallout in general uh, and the art. It, Again, a lot of fucking rambling. My bad. Not talking about Fallout 3 versus New Vegas yet. We will. We will. Okay. And um, part of that could just be me growing up and the time it came out in and me not understanding how I wanted to do this. Or it could have just been, wow, Fallout 3 is fucking amazing because you can actually do what you want. You customize your character. Whereas with like Knights of the Old Republic, um, kind of did. But you also had this set story. Which Fallout's kind of like that. Uh, especially Fallout 3, actually. Fallout 3 is really like that. Um, for the main story, Fallout New Vegas, the main story is whatever you want, dude, which is awesome. Boom! Point number one. Fallout New Vegas is awesome. Oh, wait, I meant Fallout New Vegas has multiple stories for the main one. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, right? Like, who doesn't want to play a game how they want to do it? Like, why would you want some... That's just, obviously, you want to do it how you want to do it. That's why you want to do it. If you didn't want to do it, then you didn't want to do it. Like, this this is just me talking about the definitions of words now. It's not, like, that's better, okay? That's inherently better. Like, that's just, it's impossible for you to like the other one more. That doesn't even make sense by the definitions of these words, okay? <laughs> so... Fallout New Vegas wins for that. Oh, but you could argue, oh, well, you might like the story better for that. Yeah, 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 sure. You could. You could. Okay? Totally could. But forget that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not comparing the stories directly. Um, though I could, but that's just, that's so opinionated. All right? Whereas there is no opinion on I want to play the game how I want to play it. <laughs> like, that's obvious. You have to play, like what that like you don't do something without a, a reason for it right um even if it isn't something you want to do it's you ha no one's forcing you to play the game this is so weird why am i even getting into this so like if you don't like the story but you're making yourself do it then you still have the desire to do it because like, there's some desire under there, or you wouldn't do it. Like, you wouldn't be able to do it. Like, that doesn't even make sense unless someone possessed your mind. In which case, your body would still have the desire to do it. It just wouldn't be you or the one who are making it do that. It would be someone else. But, he, like, 
What am I even talking about? It's 6 a.m. and I don't know. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. Soundtrack. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Bunch of old songs. Some people may not like it. I like both of them a lot. I think Fallout 3 has better music, though. Um, I was saying I wasn't getting into the opinion stuff, but what? whatever. Whatever. I'm, I'm making it up as I go. Um, but New Vegas is, is still all right. I mean, they kind of have similar themes. Um, environment, I do like Fallout 3's environment more. Um, both of them have things that are a pain in the ass. The mountains on Fallout New Vegas suck. I hate the separation of, like, just areas of land. That's so stupid. The metros and the mountains. Uh, metros on Fallout 3 and mountains on Fallout New Vegas make choke points that you have to go through, except you don't know where the choke point is until you arrive there. You, like, even though you're like, oh, it's a mountain, obviously you know where it is. It's like, no, you can climb over some of these mountains. And then some of them you just can't climb over for some reason. So that's annoying. Uh, and with the metros, it's like, well, you have to keep exploring until you just eventually head to dead end. Like, you can't see it from a mile away. Whereas with the mountain, you can see far away. But again, you don't know, oh, is this just a hill? Or is this the actual mountaintop? Or am I getting close to this one place that's sectioned off? Or how am I going to do that, right? You don't know that at first. So that's frustrating. But once you learn the game a little bit, you do start to figure out how it works. Um, again, it's just annoying that they, they both do that. So that's, that's pretty much a tie. But the environment, as far as like um, an immersion standpoint, I guess, I feel, okay, I feel like Fallout 3 has a lot of differentials in the environment. You don't, it's not all just a desert. Whereas not everything's a desert on Fallout New Vegas, but it pretty much is. Like there's one town that isn't, uh, completely dead. Uh, no, th there's a decent amount of, like, different environments. I don't know. A lot of the main paths that you go on, though, are deserty. Whereas, on Fallout 3, there's a lot of changes in the environment on the main paths you go on. It's just more, um, it's not more lively, because they're both wastelands. It's just, <laughs> I guess the colors are smoother. I don't... I don't really know. I just like the way it looks better, I guess. I don't know. I'd have to, like, jot down notes specifically on them. But whenever I think of Fallout 3, I think of the environment being typically better. Which, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the specific reasons for it. It could just be the, the color scheme that they run with. I think that, and every time I think of the main road on Fallout New Vegas, super desert. Not everything is the exact same on Fallout 3. Uh, what else could I compare? The main stories, the side missions. Side missions affect the end game on New Vegas on 3, kind of, but not really. It's not really going to change the story. Story, I guess, technically kind of doesn't change. It depends on how you want to look at it. All right, The story is very dynamic on Fallout New Vegas, as in the end changes. But not a lot of things affect the entirety of the game. And the entirety of the main story, it's just the t changes all happen at once. Whereas on Fallout 3, you don't get that at all. So, I'd say New Vegas wins on that hand. Um, the faction system is amazing. I really hope Fallout 4 has it. If it doesn't, I guess I'd live with it. Um, but I think it's really, uh, you know, it's missing out, man. And Fallout New Vegas is not made by the same people that made Fallout 3. Um, Obsidian made that, whereas I believe Bethesda directly made 3, and they're making 4 as well. So, don't really know how much it will resemble, re excuse me, resemble Fallout New Vegas, seeing as it doesn't really talk about it even. Like, the links from 3 to 4 are, are that, they're from 3 to 4, or not... New Vegas to four or anything like that, so I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. I really hope that they do have stuff like that. I am so hyped to <laughs> play Fallout Four. I am definitely gonna play Fallout Three or New Vegas beforehand, and I'll have a series on that. But you'll um you'll see that anyway. So uh, shut up. Let me talk about this comparison some more. 
what else is there? The guns, I guess I could talk about maybe. Um, the weapon mods are pretty sick. The aiming down sights is really nice on Fallout New Vegas. I mean, ultimately, it's just I don't think you even really compare them. It's just obviously this is better. There's some select few special weapons that are on three that aren't on New Vegas and vice versa. So I don't think that one. Ought, ought, I don't think that one ultimately outweighs the other because they have the both specifics, but I do think that New Vegas is tilted in favor because of the weapon mods and the aiming down sight with that is just super awesome. Um, what else is there? There's a ton of companions and they have their own quest lines. They all have like really intricate quest lines and like dialogue that's triggered throughout playing the entirety of the game. Like some of them are actually hard to do. Like a lot of people have trouble getting Arcade Ganon's thing to go off and like some of them are sometimes random even too. Uh, that's really awesome. Whereas on three, I'm almost 100% sure that they didn't have that. At least it wasn't that intricate. I definitely... It most definitely was not that intricate. They could have had their own quest lines, but I don't remember that. But I normally went with dog meat, so, you know, that's not telling a whole lot there. What What else can we compare? Uh, equipment? We, I mean, weapons is pretty much the end of that. Um, the environment, the quest line... What am I missing out on? DLC, I guess? That'd just be opinionated. I feel like I had more fun with the DLC in Fallout 3, but that's because I got a, you know, a huge reward from playing uh, Operation Anchorage, the, you know, some of the best armor in the game is from that, which I'm pretty sure it's really good because it's glitched. So maybe I shouldn't even count that. Why didn't they fix that? You know what? No, I'm not even going to count that. Fallout New Vegas had really fun. Fallout 3 had really fun DLC as well. I mean, they just... They differ so much that I'm not really going to throw one in favor of the other. There's no, like, clear winner. There's no, like... I can't even compare them. Like, the environment was really opinionated, but I could still kind of compare them depending on how dynamic they were and how often you see them and all the changes that go out through it. Whereas this is just pretty much like, you, you get a collar on your head or you go to this weird island thing and maybe you like carnivals more. There's a Ferris wheel on this one, so Fallout 3 is better. Or maybe you like weird radio bombs so you like new vegas more i don't you know it's just it, it's a little too far off for me to be able to make a a valid comparison anyway or a reasonable comparison maybe not a valid comparison it'd be hard validating it um i don't really think of any anything else I guess I could talk about pre-order bundles. New Vegas had them. I don't think Fallout 3 had them at all. Fallout 3 went. Um, that was pretty dumb, actually, the, all the pre-order bonuses. Because, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it wasn't that dumb. I, I, don't, I didn't pre-order the game. Okay, so whenever I got Fallout New Vegas, I actually, I traded in an Xbox 360 and got like $60 from a trade-in and bought Fallout New Vegas like two days after it came out. Uh, Mason, why'd you have a, a the Xbox 360 lying around? Well, it red ringed and I somehow brought it back to life and I was like, I'm getting rid of this thing before it breaks again and I traded it in and I got a game and it probably was fine. And I uh, got ripped off, but oops, you know I was I was afraid, okay. And I wanted Fallout New Vegas, all right? Fallout Three was awesome. Oh, I wanted to say, whenever I originally saw the trailers for Fallout Three, getting really hyped for that, I originally thought it was going to be like Metro Twenty Thirty Three. I did. I like, I saw people, or um, like I thought you had to like scavenge for stuff, and it was like really hard and like really creepy. And then I actually played it and. I remember starting off and going to the uh, elementary school, and I was like, oh, well, this seems like it. And then once I actually started the quests and stuff, and I saw how open it was, uh, I was like, oh, no, 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 this game's awesome, but not for the reasons I thought it would be awesome. And so that was pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say that I like Fallout New Vegas more. 
um the biggest thing just being the fact and factions like that that's huge and uh the end game even though there's kind of not an end game i guess the story ends at the ending uh whoa really um well a lot of games you could play after this though they give you a nice cutscene and show you all the good or bad things you've done and then you can connect them go back through the game and change them however you want and i think that's awesome i've still never gotten the perfect ending that i wanted but maybe one day i'll be able to do that and it'll be awesome and i'll be the savior of the wasteland or something um I don't really think I have anything else to say. Bye-bye.